Hey everyone, so you're probably looking at this and thinking, hey, I've seen this stuff by you before. Friendly neighborhood inquisitor, what the fuck is up with that? Well, I have some updates on all of these. So, as I said, I was going to be doing transfers and general chapter badges on my stuff. And, well, I've got some done. So let's just go through it really quick. Let's take a surgeon here. Now, some of these aren't really perfect or anything because, well, it's my first real attempts. So, there's a learning process here. But yeah, so. The chap. Fuck me. Oh my god. I'm keeping this in. I'm gonna keep this in because god fucking damn it. Okay, so, um. As you can see, the chapter patch on his right, on his left arm, is the dragon head shared by the Black Dragons chapter. And what I do, I cannot believe the sergeant's arm fucking fell off in a video. God fucking damn it. Okay. And what I also do is on their right shoulders, all of them will have this flame insignia. Now this comes on all of the, uh, uh, Salamander's Upgrade Sprues. You see, do I got one? Yeah, see, they're all right in there. Took them off. <clears throat> God, I cannot get over that. But yeah, so... And all this does is represent that they are in a battle company. An orange one means a battle company. And for their squad markings, I decided to put that on their knee pads. Because their squad marking indicates what, uh, I mean, their left knee pad indicates what company they are, black being the fifth company. So I figured it would be fitting to have the squad number on top of the company. So they are, and so by this you can see he is fifth squad, I mean, fifth company, fourth squad. And the red stripe you can, indicates that he is the sergeant. And the, and the flame insignia represents that the, this is a battle brother of one of the battle companies. I am actually kind of pissed. <sighs> like, it's an easy thing to fix, but, you know, it's, it's the principle of it that's annoying. So I'm just going to move him off to the side here and hope nobody else fucking breaks. But next... So th that's how it is generally on all of them. Chapter badge on the left arm. Flame insignia is on the right. Number four on their knee pads, because this is fourth squad. Next, I have my lieutenant. My lieutenant. Yes, British people. It's not lieutenant. I mean, hell, it, it's a French word that is pronounced lieutenant. There's no F. We are closer to being correct than you are, British people. Lieutenant. Similar similar deal, he has the chapter badge on his left arm. Uh, he has the lieutenant uh, flame on his right arm. Oh good, I dropped him and his arms are intact. You can see it on the transfer sheet right there. And because he's not part of a squad, I, but I wanted to put something on his kneecap... I put another little orange flame. I thought that would be nice. And then I put two honorifics on there. The crossed hammers. And an indomitus cross. What they mean exactly, not sure. I'll just have this one say that, like, um, they fought alongside the indominus crusade at some point. And this one, maybe they fought a campaign alongside their parent chapter. Not 100% sure what it'll mean, but... I like them. I wanted to deck him out with a little more stuff. So, yeah. Then comes the vehicles. So, I bought some stencils. And I just painted over them. I have one where the head faces inwards. Uh, both where they face inwards. <clears throat> And I stenciled those on to the front there. I thought that would look pretty nice. I also got some larger stencils. 
to paint the dragon on the doors. I thought it was a pretty good design. I, I like that the stencil pack I bought comes with variants. So that way I have I actually have different uh, shapes of a dragon to use. Kind of like how the black dragons do. And speaking of that, the drop pod. Those are the three shapes it has. It has the one that's the chapter badge. It has the one that's the wings spread out. And then this one, which I can't even quite describe what it looks like, but I like it. I did it along the whole thing. Thought it came out pretty good. And then the Impulsor. Again, the badge on the side. I gotta do some cleanup, use uh, some shade paints on that. This one came out really bad, but this was also my first attempt. So, shit happens. And then, yeah. I thought these came out really good. I'm really liking how this is coming out. I'm getting better at doing the transfer, so there's less seams being shown. But... I'm, fi I'm fine with it as it is, so it's not going to really bug me. These have also all officially been varnished. Well, the vehicles haven't. But the infantry have all been varnished now. So these guys are done done, except for this asshole, apparently, who needs his fucking arm back. Sorry, I'm going to be really pissed about that. But yeah, so for next week, um, if I do a video... I'm just doing this one really because, like, I didn't do one last week, and I'll feel weird if I go two weeks in a row not doing one. But, uh, yeah. It'll be more transfers. I, I want to get the full army done pretty quickly. Um, I also, upcoming, I will have an update on a big kit bash I'm doing. But, that's for another time. But, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.